you can see from the commentary box that there's a little bit of extra edge to the battles when those four great all-rounders take part. They were the four I was talking about a little earlier. There's one point I'd just like to make with you. It does seem a long time ago when you were seeking that 200th wicket. It is a long time ago now. and uh... it's 200 and... <laughs> 20 wickets ago. Well, something extraordinary happened in, uh, in 1980, because I was with Knotts at the time, and uh, I found that playing 12 months of the year was taking too much of a toll on, on the body. And I found that I couldn't run in from 20, 25 yards day in, day out, and compete. And so I had to make a dramatic change to my technique. Uh, and change, it was probably the greatest change in my bowling, was to come off the longer run up and bowl off the, um, the shorter one and it was just failed to be accepted back home in New Zealand. Did they think you were bludging? They thought that I was taking shortcuts, and the, the thought was that um, how could Richard Hadley, the strike power of New Zealand cricket, uh, be effective off a short runner. It was as though that uh, I wasn't giving 100%. And unfortunately, uh, the pressure on my body at the time was just too much, and I had a lot of ankle ligament problems, so I had no alternative but to economise. And, uh, and it wasn't accepted by the media in particular. The spectators gave me a hard time. Some of the players refused to accept it. So my total professionalism was questioned. And uh, it wasn't until uh, a year or two later when I started to have some good successes off the shorter run-up and proved uh, that I could still do the job. In fact, quite frankly, it fine-tuned me as a bowler. It made me a far better bowler, more of a complete bowler, because I had better control, because uh, I'd lost a yard of pace. I had to do uh, things a bit better, so I was able to uh, swing and seam the ball, cut the ball. I could still bowl the odd bouncer and intimidate the batsman, still get him out. And I found that I could bowl in longer spells. So the all-round effectiveness of the, uh, the shorter runner proved to be exactly the right thing to do. But unfortunately, in the early stages, I was alternating between the long and short, and it just didn't work because there was different rhythms and timings, different training involved. And so I had to make a clear-cut decision in 1982, as I did, that it was the short run for the rest of my career. Otherwise, I would have been out of the game uh, five or six years ago. And uh, it, it's just kept me going. It, it's given me a longer life in the game. And, uh, it was significant, uh, that particular change, and uh, thankfully some very good rewards came about. And at what stage uh, might we loosely say that was accepted in New Zealand by the people who wouldn't accept it originally? I would have thought it would have taken a couple of years from really? the decision that, uh, that I had made. And uh, there, <laughs> it was just amazing. I was very depressed, very disappointed about it, and had tears in my eyes at times because I was just reading things in the paper. Uh, just getting negative feedback generally from, uh, from people, um, you know, I found it very difficult to cope with. But the only answer at the end of the day was, was to get out there and perform and get wickets. And of course the wicket tally kept getting bigger and bigger and of course uh, the success rate also here playing for Nottinghamshire at the time uh, when I got 100 wickets uh, the following year uh, and, and did it twice. And I uh, got 97 in my last year in 1987, so the wicket tally was, was was improving all the time. The strike rates were even far better, and uh, it, w it wasn't costing me as many runs per wicket. And so everything about it was quite beautiful. And I can turn around and say uh, that to all those knockers that uh, you know I was disappointed at the time, but it was nice to prove them uh, prove them wrong. Well, just to recap on that series, at the Oval, six for fifty-three, two for ninety-nine, and eighty-four. The second test at Leeds, where New Zealand scored their famous victory, seventy-five. Third test at Lords, 5 for 93, 3 for 42 and a great catch. Fourth test at Trent Bridge, 4 for 85, 200th test match wicket and 92, which is...